another season of Singles Inferno is out and lots of us are wondering who will be that girl this time around. Undoubtedly, Gia was the it girl for season one and made a huge impression. So much so that it seems that other women are now trying to emulate her. This, of course, is flattering to Gia, but it can also go terribly wrong if the person taking inspiration from Gia isn't fully aware of what she's doing. Though Gia and Gyuri are both gorgeous women, Gia makes men intrigued by her mystique, whereas Gyuri accidentally ends up pushing them further away. Why is this? Were you surprised when Gyuri ended up not having any men go for her during their first impression confessionals after she so confidently stated that Hae-sun didn't make much of an impression? Let's find the answer to what makes these two women, who supposedly are using the same tactic of being an ice queen, so very different. Understanding the difference and even the smallest actions they take is crucial because in the end, it will make a massive impact on being able to easily attract your dream guy or push him away. Being aware of your beauty. A mistake some girls make is in thinking their beauty will bring them farther than it actually can. The truth is, looks only go so far. Certainly, looks can make a good first impression or be the reason someone is initially intrigued or attracted to you. However, cultivating and showcasing your personality is equally, if not more, important. Unfortunately, too often women forget the attraction men feel to someone who is confident, self-assured, and intriguing. In season one, Gia walks into the show and receives choruses of oohs and ahs from the men. They even end up standing up to admire her and respect her beauty. But what really sets Gia apart from another pretty face is how she creates opportunities for herself to show that her heart is equally as beautiful. She offers to help the men with cooking, fetching water, and shows she's compassionate and thinks of others when someone accidentally gets hurt. Let's take note and compare what happens with beauty in season three. As the show launches, most likely she too is hoping to make a show-stopping impression. However, she misses her chance by waiting for the men to come to her. She confides to the camera that hey son didn't make much of an impression. Here, we see her naivety. The girl she wasn't the slightest bit worried about actually ended up getting chosen before Gyuri. She was overly confident and certain beauty would carry her. Big mistake. On the other hand, Hae-sun does highlight her go-getter and optimistic attitude. And because of that, she ends up being chosen to go to paradise. Another thing to notice is how many times in both season one and season three, men are deterred from pursuing a girl if she has too much of an unapproachable aura to her. Men have feelings and egos they want to protect too. It isn't just us ladies. Men don't want to get their heart broken any more than we do. Even for Gia, over and over again, men say that she seems unapproachable and are hesitant to make the first move. Luckily, Gia smiles, shows her sweet nature, and creates inviting opportunities for others to get closer to her. She has a way of making the men feel special instead of coming across as conceited and self-centered. Certainly, we have seen moments of sweetness from Gyuri as well this season. But we also see her putting somewhat of a wall up between herself and her other castmates, keeping others from getting close. Competition. Chia exudes pure confidence. We can see this in the way that she isn't in competition with others. She has no need to be. She already knows her worth and knows that even if she and a guy don't work out or he picks another woman, she will be chosen in the end by someone. It might sting a bit, but she isn't in competition with that woman. She moves on. Yuri, on the other hand, didn't add to the positive energy that Hae-sun was trying to create when she complimented her. She responds to the compliment coldly, and then later in an interview says that she thought Hae-sun didn't make much of an impression. This actually ends up revealing how unconfident she is. Otherwise, she wouldn't have to discredit other women. Hope for Gyuri. After Gyuri was left on Inferno, it seemed like it humbled her quite a bit. I hope this experience will encourage her to reveal more vulnerable parts of herself. At first, Gia might come off as a gorgeous ice queen, but it would serve Gyuri well to realize that what makes Gia attractive is so much more than that. In the end, being an ice queen doesn't actually lead to any kind of true romance. No one can keep up that act forever. It's much more compelling when we actually get to see 
the nuanced, sincere, and earnest qualities someone has. Authenticity draws us in and makes us feel seen. We feel relieved to find that even the most gorgeous of women are real and relatable. I hope this can be a moment of learning for Gyuri. We, as an audience, and the men as well, want to see more of who she really is. That girl prediction for season three. My prediction is that Minji will be the it girl for season three. So far, from the little bit we've seen of her, she seems to have all the it girl attributes a woman needs. Of course, she's gorgeous, but she is also warm, open, and bubbly. She thinks of others and even laughs about the silly comments that men inevitably tend to make. Was anyone else shocked by that Teletubby comment that was made about her dress? <laughs> Some people really don't know how to flirt, but she handled it gracefully, not taking it too seriously, and laughed about it. I hope my prediction will be right and we'll have another strong, kind-hearted, and confident woman to admire and learn from. What do you think? What's your prediction for this season? If you would like me to go into further detail about what makes Gia or any of the other contestants so charming to men, and no, it's not just because of their stunning faces, let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm here to help you become the best version of yourself that you can be. And if you want more girly pop personal development videos, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'll see you soon.